Welcome back to another Modern Cube draft here on Modern Online, the Modern Edition. Ah, oh, that's admirable. That is uh, that is an actual quote that I have uh, that I've said before. The old "Yeah, I'm Frank Lepore, Yeah, that is uh, that's a classic. I will take this crater hoof behemoth because we have not taken this guy in many years. Modern the Gathering online, and then of course you see a pack with no green cards. I think we've hoofed it. we've hoofed them before. I don't think we can get through a modern cube without hoofing them at least once. And I think we've definitely fulfilled our hoof quota. But first picking crater hoof is always pretty sweet. I think we just take this gilded lotus. I don't think any of these other cards are going to be better for us. Maybe we can temporal mastery into crater hoof. That seems good. Seven right into eight. <laughs> I like this. I like this Bailey picks of uh, of uh, evolving wilds into Terramorphic Expanse. Basically, the most versatile fetch lands ever. You want to take Whip over Gilded Lotus, Neros? Just stop. I do have to pick myself up my by my hoof straps. That's actually very good. I'm I'm a big fan of what you just said right there. I think Sylvan Carry added is the way to go. Look at all these these exciting cards are passing like Go for the Throat and Dissolve. For a, a boring Sylvan carry added. So, you know. Tigernate, glad to help out, buddy. Appreciate that, that you appreciate. Admiral, when do you wanna when do you wanna get together and jam some Hearthstone? I'm on all day this week. You mean, I think you could just say I'm on all week, right? All day this week? It doesn't all day this week mean just today? Do you mean every day this week? Because that's a different thing. I think those are two different sayings. I think one of them is not a saying, and then you just made it a saying. Oh, 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 he's a busy man. He's got evening plans. So, yeah, we're probably... Our car broke down, so we are hoofing it. Uh, ideally, someone will be able to carry it to us. <laughs> oh, God, it's terrible. He's just terrible. <laughs> it's not good. Nest Invader, God, we're just passing like Tidings and Doomblade. I almost want to just take the Tidings. We could be blue green. There's a blue green deck here. What up, Dreadmang? I think it's actually Tidings is so much stronger than Nest Invader. That's four cards and a color that needs cards, so. Hey, man of dorks, get in. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, what up, pernicious dude? I gotta, I gotta say, these are some... I think after going 6-0 in the past two drafts, one with our Abzan deck and one with our uh, Grixis deck, I'm feeling a little more risky today, so I just want to play more fun things. So this is what you're going to get here. You're going to get you're gonna get some fun drafts, and then you're going to get some, some very serious I-don't-mess-around drafts. So... I think we're taking Vizier of Many Faces so we can copy our Crater Hoof Behemoth at some point. In case this doesn't win you the game. Or we can play both on one turn and we get 12 mana. That's what I want to do. I am also getting the impression that green is not open, unfortunately. <laughs> what gave it away? The fact that we only have a Sylvan carry added? Oh, uh, we have Crater Hoof, but that was our first pick, so it doesn't really count. A Rattleclaw Mystic. That seems worse than a Sower of Temptation. It does it does tap for both of our colors right now, but 
I think we can get more cards like this, and we can't really get more cards like this. So apparently, Prime is Prime. Amazon Prime does have a weird deal where you can get you can spend ninety nine cents and get five dollars worth of bits. So if you guys want to do that, knock yourself out. You don't have to spend them on me, but I think it's a great deal. It's a way to support streamers. Bila, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. I'm gonna take this disallow. All right, I guess we're being blue again, even though we don't really. This is not the direction we wanted to go in here, but. All of these cards have been good. Consider your commitments to streaming. What are your plans for Freshly Brewed? Uh, my plans for Freshly Brewed um, were kind of manifesting themselves before I even committed myself to streaming. It's just been, it's very hard for me and Ollie to get motivated and to get, like, to coordinate our schedules to do Freshly Brewed, unfortunately. Um... One of the biggest issues was that I was doing a lot of the... I mean, for me anyway. I don't think it's... It's not Ollie's fault. Like, I didn't ask him to take on any of the responsibility. But one of the biggest issues was um, I was doing a lot of the back-end work. Like, I was paying for the domain or for the for the hosting services. KGX Reload, thank you so much for the thousand bits. Really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Um, Torrential Gear Hulk is probably where I want to be right here. I think we're like we just cut blue real hard with this guy. Plus, we already have a, a disallow, which we can get more of these type things. Um, hey, we tried to be not be blue. If Garfield wants to reach down his holy hand and steer us to blue, we can't say anything about it. <laughs> I agree with you. Um, so the problem is like I was doing all the hosting things. Like I was on the back end, like uploading the I was uploading the podcasts. I was making sure it hit like uh stitcher i was making sure it hit itunes i was making sure it did all those things i was uploading it to the website i was uploading the patreon page updating the patreon page i was doing the editing i was combining like our our uh our two audio tracks and, and doing the editing um so like ollie would basically just have to show up and be like all right let's let's record and then when we're done he's like all right i'm out and then like you know not, again not his fault i love the i love ollie to death it wasn't he had nothing to do with him but um you know, it for me it was just like I had to, I had, I was doing all of the 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 back end stuff, you know. So it was it was a very like 80-20 kind of situation and it just gets a little it got a little a little overwhelming, I think. Like I just like week in week out like it was an hour to cast, like we would cast for about an hour. And Ollie would, you know, Ollie would devote, like he would have he would he would cast for an hour, right? But for me it's like a 3 hour thing because <laughs> I'm doing 2 hours of behind the scenes stuff, you know. So it just got and, and like the coordination was just a little bit tricky. So Oh wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. I like Dissolve more than Trigon Predator, I'll be real. There, this this is a very repeatable ability and sometimes it's a blank, whereas this dissolve is just great, especially with the torrential gear hulk. Eh, I'll just take vapors in case we're black. Uh, I watched Bruce by a while back. Uh, he was a, he seemed like he was doing some cool stuff. I appreciated it a lot. Uh, I kind of like a Johnny here. Maybe we'll keep the a Johnny dream alive and gain 100 life this match. Maybe we're maybe we're teamer. So we have a teamer, a Bant, and a Sultai potential with this sideboard. So now we're not a great hoof deck. I always gotta look real close. I'm like, what cards don't have art? Okay, this one and this one. Okay, I don't care. Good. Turkish, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. 39 months in a row. Oh my god. That is some commitment right there. That's like th that's over three years. I think it's just Wall of Roots here. Could be Rune Snag, but I like Wall of Roots because we do have counter spells. So Wall of Roots lets us tap out. Uh, essentially tap out and get one extra mana on their turn as well, which is pretty sweet. It also just blocks and ramps us, so. Flooded Grove. Ooh, that's a nice piece of fixing. We actually have no Planeswalkers. I think it's a Mortal Sun here, actually. I bet Flooded Grove comes back, because who's going to want the blue green land? Ooh, I like this, and just no Planeswalkers. Yeah, we're going Sun. Flooded Grove's coming back. I guarantee it. You're gonna like you're gonna like the the way the the flooded grove comes back. I guarantee it. I like coalition relic here. Elvish Mystic's good, but like we gotta consider that like we're not really that heavy green. You guys are you guys are looking at elv elves, but we're like double blue, double blue, double blue, double blue, double blue, double blue. Like I don't care about 
I don't care about one mana elves here. What, we're not going to ramp into... We're not going to go forest into elf on turn three, not have mana to cast anything relevant, because we're going to have two green. So we're just going to take the Coalition Relic here, because I think it's significantly better, especially for these color commitments that we have going on here. I do like a Vraska. And we do have Coalition Relic and Gilded Lotus. And Sylvan carry added right now. And Terramorphic Expanse. We also have a Mortal Sun, though, which is worth keeping in mind. I wonder if it's Chupa Chups. Big Chups. And I'm only calling it that because you guys have called it that. And then told me that I... Then said that I call it that. So now I'm calling you guys out on saying that I call it that. Get wrecked. Also, I have no idea what to take here. Clever Impersonator might just be the pick. I think it's actually Clever Impersonator. I don't think we have any reason to be black yet. Hinterland Heart. Oh, Cyclonic Rift is where we want to be. Cyclonic Rift is just excellent. We have. I would take Progenitor Mimic, but we already have Clever Impersonator, Soar, and Vizier. We have plenty of this effect, even though this is one of the good ones. I'd rather just have Cyclonic Rift because what it does is pretty irreplaceable. Especially, oh, Breeding Pool we will definitely... That is a Frostwalker. We had a whole conversation about it the other day, yesterday. Oh my god. It's gotta be Corsair, right? Oh god, I hate, do I hate doing that, but I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm assuming... That a lot of lands that we that we passed are gonna come back. Do I like Kira here? Is are we a Kira deck? I would take this Garrick, but we have a Mortal Sun. Maybe it's still good anyway. I mean Corsair's ideally gonna help us fix lands as well. I can't tell if that's a real deal from Hungry Howie's. Like, I know Hungry Howie Bot, obviously, is a, is, a, is a meme, but I can't tell if that's actually a real deal. I'm going to take the Garrick here. I think the Garrick is strong enough to just put in the deck. My friend's daughter's name is Kira, so pick it. Um, I don't know if that's what should be guiding our picks, but I do appreciate that. Tell Kira I said hi. Tell Kira your random streaming friend said hi. Woodland Cemetario. I'll just take either Ather Adept. Nah, yeah, we'll take Ather Adept. I don't care about the wood. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Yeah. Hinterland Harbor, come on back. Show me your love, Hinterland. <laughs> of course, Elvish Mystic comes back. You didn't even get me any spicy tuna on my birthday. Well, you know what they say. You know what they say. <laughs> Hinterland Harbor. I love you. Last look, breeding pool. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, sometimes you just know it. Sometimes you just know it. Okay, so this is actually... Paul or John is actually a really tough question. Um. So here's 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 my answer. I appreciate John more cons more for art more artistically. I appreciate Paul more for his the breadth of his range. So that is my answer. George is also incredible. Also, just to be clear, all three of the lands we wanted tabled. This pack is also sweet gas. We have Ancestral, we have Metamorph, and Tireless Tracker, all three of which are very good. This 
Say something nice about Ringo. He was in the Beatles. I actually think it is Paul. I'm going to be honest with you. And here's the thing. So I look at both Paul and John, and I look at them both favorably. I think they're both incredible. Um, I look at Paul now, and I think the work he's done since John passed still is still relevant, right? Whereas I think if John was still alive during this time, he just wouldn't have the same catalog. Does that make sense? And I think that's why I lean towards Paul. Like, that's why I say I like the breadth of, of Paul's work a lot more than I like um, John. But I, but I think John is great. Don't get me wrong. Like, I'm just going to take Ancestor Vision here. <clears throat> Golgari Signet. The older you get, the more it skews towards stones. That's interesting, and I love the Rolling Stones, don't get me wrong. I actually might like them more than I like the Beatles. Um, but I think, I wonder how relevant it is that they're still touring, right? Like, they're together, and they're still touring. I wonder how relevant that is to appreciation of the Rolling Stones. Uh, John ha had had difficulties growing a beard. I will, yeah, that's, that's not incorrect. I, uh... <laughs> it's, is it just voted Druid here? It has to be, right? It's just like turn three Garrick or turn three Gilded Lotus if we really get that. I think it's, yeah, it's got to be devoted Druid. Oh, big snaps. How good are you? We have Disallow, Dissolve, Cyclonic Rift. Tidings, Ancestral Visions, not, probably not getting targeted here. This is an interesting green deck we have going on here. I think it is Snapcaster. I like Scarab God a lot here, don't get me wrong. We just don't have any reasonable way to... Ca we have, uh, all right, let's look at our, let's look at our options. We have Sylvan Carry added, Coalition Relic, Gilded Lotus, Terramorphic Expanse, one swamp. I think it's Snapcaster. I think if we... Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. It, maybe it should have been. Stupid idiot. Dummy... Scarab God. Hornet Queen's pretty sweet, especially with this amount of ramp. I kind of like having a payoff like that. Lord Taylor, thank you so much for the pledge. Really appreciate it. I assume you're watching right now, but uh, yeah, we're definitely taking Hornet Queen here. I think we have, I think Disallow and Dissolve are good enough for us right now at three. Yavamai. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. I really kind of want Ugin because I want big payoffs for cards like uh, Coalition Relic, Devoted Druid, Sylvan Carried, Wall of Roots. I don't think we're playing Elvish Mystic, I'll be honest with you guys. I don't think the payoff is high enough right now. Oh, Immortal Sun. Immortal Sun. We're going to take Tree... Uh, actually, maybe I just want... Yeah, no, we want Tree Seeker. <laughs> tree, tree Speaker. And you know, you know how we do. Like the the Yav yeah, Myco is just gonna table anyway, so Turn one Mystic, turn two relic is good, but I don't wanna have to have it I don't want a two card combo in my deck that isn't Kiki Jiki's player twin. I don't want Arbor Elf I don't wanna go Arbor Elf and then have Disallow in my hand and be unable to play it because I played a forest and an Arbor Elf, so Pretty sure it's just Mana Lake here. It goes great with our Snapcaster and our Torrential Gear Hulk. Guys, we're getting to a point where I don't even know why we're playing green. It's really getting awkward. I like Tamiyo. I like Sakura Tribelder. Builder. 
What band do you think is the worst for other bands to cover, and why is it Pink Floyd? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I actually have never thought of why why it's... I don't know the quality of a band being bad to cover, right? Does that make sense? Is that a weird statement to make? I don't know how that how that statement parsed. What are the qualities that make a band bad to cover? I don't know what they are, so I have a hard time seeing that. Does that make sense? That has to that has to make sense, right? Oh, Aetherite Up can come out. That card's pretty pretty medium. This is still 25 cards. I'm we're gonna have a lot of cards, guys. It's Rat Mouse. It might be Rat Mouse. I fell in, in the pit. I'm gonna take this treetop village because that's a land I will play. Uh no. Actually, if Scarab God comes back, we're just taking the Signet and then we're gonna play the Scarab God. How do you feel about that? Okay, well, I feel like I just wrote a check that I can't cash, but that's fine, I guess. <sighs> in my face, I suppose. Well, that's awkward. I wasn't expecting it to come back. Well, you done it now. Scarab God always comes back. That's the that's the meme. But apparently Also, you have my coast didn't come back, so all right, now we have some serious things to consider because Scarab God wants to come in, so does Golgari Signet. So does Veraska if we're playing Scarab God. Maybe we just cut the Immortal Sun at this point because we have three Planeswalkers that are all worth playing. Take out the Planeswalkers and keep the sun in. Okay. Deal. Now we only have four cuts to make. Wah, wah, wah. Um, I... I think we can take out one of these things. Probably Clever and... Oh God, Clever Impersonator copies everything, though. Maybe Sower of Temptation? Vizier of Many Faces is two. Clever Impersonator copies anything. I like Clever Impersonator because you can copy, like, an Oblivion Ring. Sower of Temptation is pretty sensitive. See, I like Devoted Druid a lot because Devoted Druid lets us play a turn three five drop. Torrential doesn't have a lot of targets? Torrential has plenty of targets. If Torrential doesn't have a lot of targets, then neither does Snapcaster. I mean, four targets seems pretty reasonable to me. But I could see cutting it. Oh, God. Why are you guys like this? Fine. I think Sower is the worst. And we got to cut one of these dudes. because it's And we can probably play 16 lands or 17 and 41. This is multicolor. It might just be Wall of Roots, actually. I like Devoted Druid a little better because it does let us cast. It does. It ramps twice, right? So if we play it on two, we can play Lotus or Tidings or Guilt or Scarab God on five, presuming we have the mana. Sakura Tribe Elder I like because it gets us any color. I think it's either Wall of Roots or Devoted Druid because they only tap for one color. And we are playing the Scarab God now. So... We have Corsair and Oracle. Like we, this is definitely a 16 land deck. Yeah, I like this. This seems good. I don't even, I don't know if I want Terramorphic Expanse though, just because I don't want to ever have a land that comes into play untapped. I think we can just safely add one, and we can also just board into like Vraska. Also, yeah, Sakura is better with uh, Scarab God, so. Yep, I like one, six, six, seven. All right, that doesn't make any sense. Thirteen, fourteen, sixteen. Oh, watch! I'm gonna move this, and I'm gonna try to move it over normal like this, and it's gonna put it all in one pile. Are you ready? 
Yeah. <sighs> that was incredible. I think this deck looks good. It looks fun, at the very least. Oh, a treetop village. So, I'm actually tempted to cut the tree speaker. You said Devoted Druid by animated by Scarab gives us 54 mana, and it was a typo, but I thought you were being serious, and I thought it was some kind of crazy combo that I missed. I was like, can you just like add mana, and then when it dies, you reanimate it again, and then add more? And I was like, wait, how do you get 54? And then I realized it was a typo, but... I agree. I don't like Tree Speaker because I don't think we only have like, okay, so Flooded Grove and Hinterland Harbor are not ways to cast this on turn one. So we actually only have six ways to cast this on turn one. I actually don't like Tree Speaker here. I, I think like you guys have to look more objectively and be like, well, and also with the Tree Speaker out, we can actually play Terramorphic Expanse, which is nice. In case you guys didn't know. I like Gear Hulk. Gear Hulk is just a free counter spell. Like, even if we don't have a... Even, like, there's no way we don't have one of these in our graveyard at that point. Like, there's five different... Four different spells that we can hit. Yeah, Sower's on the bench because we have Clever Impersonator and Vizier already. We don't really need a, a third ability like that. Um, I'm trying to see if this mana distribution is correct. Sort by color. We have more blue. We also have a green here. I'm gonna take out a forest. Is this still sixteen land deck though? No, probably not. All right. We can go 1741. I want to have a forest because I do want to hit these early. Like, these are contributing to our... Uh, Devoted Druid, Scourge, Tribal, and Sylvan Carry added are contributing to our... Uh, our colored mana, so... Uh, keep. I fell in in the pit. All right, so what's our play here? Second turn. It's got to be treetop, right? Treetop into signet. Yeah. Seriously? We could have turned three that dude if we just played Hinterland Harbor. That's really dumb. I guess we could still draw Island, right? Mm. 
We could also draw like Gilded Lotus, which is still pretty good on turn three. So, wow. I mean, even Breeding Polar Island is fine. So, I'm actually just going to play that here for obvious reasons. Don't believe me, just watch. Either way, turn four Scarab God is still pretty good. Oh, free lands are so good. And a coalition relic on top. Fashion related to the party. Wow, they just took that. That's interesting to me. Wow, Mono Gideon Control. Oh, that's a good draw, boys. Why did he say it like that? What a weirdo. I'll actually activate this because I don't feel like Gideon Jura, Gideon Jura, Gideon Jura. Double block the treetop village. Interesting choice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I don't actually think we're going to have to be reanimating anything this turn. So I'm actually just going to play Coalition Relic here. Like, I wanted to keep up reanimation mana because we had Island, Swamp, this, and we can untap you. But I don't see any creatures going to the graveyard this turn. God, it's so, it's so funny them knowing Cyclonic Rift is on top. Yep, we will attack Gideon Jura again. Or we won't, or we just bounce all your things and... One, two, three, four, five, six. You'll have seven mana, so you won't have ten. Oh, wow, they didn't get a white source, so they actually can't cast their Gideons. That's super interesting. Oh, wow. That seems good for us. Give me a land on top so I can just play it. Dang it, Sylvan Carry added. I don't know, out of blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't want to draw Sylvan Carry added, so we're actually going to play Tri Builder. We also have Snapcaster Cyclonic Rift, which is pretty cool.
It's a good dude. That is a a dude. Can't kill either of our relevant creatures. So, what up, Tuxie? You can't overload when you cast with Snap, really? Yeah, you can. You why can't you? You can cast with the. You can. You may cast the spell for its overload cost. Can you not? Um, one damage and two damage to me, right? Sure. Interesting. I did not know these things. Oh, Rashmi seems good. Um, is it better than just a, yeah, it's probably just better than a random card, right? I don't know, actually. <laughs> See, I actually like that better because now we can snap Cyclonic Rift to this guy. Attack for seven. Interesting. I figured you could do that. I don't know anything about magic. I will draw this tidings, though. That is true. Druid gives us lots of mana. Don't believe me, just watch. So we know they have Inferno Titan and two Gideons. Then we have three of their six cards. And we know they want to go to the game, the next game. We saw like zero removal. Clever Impersonator and Vizier are both very good against Inferno Titan. Sorrow of Temptation is very bad against Inferno Titan. If you steal the Inferno Titan, that's pretty good, but otherwise, not great. I'm tempted to bring in Vraska to kill, like they have a million Planeswalkers and Vraska just kills Planeswalkers. Seems good. We would have to... Uh, how many black sources is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a lot. That's a lot of black sources. We could take out the Immortal Sun for Varaska. <laughs> Brian, you not knowing I'm streaming does not actually make you a, a worse person in any way, shape, or form. I don't hate Icefall region either, to be quite honest. Let's take out Torrential Gear Hulk for Icefall region. We also have three counter spells. So I feel like that's a good amount. Unfortunately, I think Vraska is kind of underwhelming outside of just destroying a Planeswalker. Uh, this hand seems great. I'm going to keep it. And I'm not going to look back. Why would we look back? I'm just going to sit here and throw myself in a pity party as I take these Rashad and ports out of my modern deck. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man, I'm glad they reprinted that in uh, Masters 25. So now all, these, the, all the modern players can actually put them in their Death and Taxes decks. I think the reason it wasn't in there was just because it was so hard to come by, you know? Love it. I love it. Can someone can someone Photoshop an Icefall Regent with Mike's face on it and call it Ice Chew Regent? Because that's funny. 
that's comedy gold right there. That's annoying, but I don't think we care about it. In fact, if that's what you're gonna if that's what you're gonna put down here, that's just fine. We I wanna dissolve something good. I'll take three. Good thing we didn't play Flooded Grove. I always forget about this Dahlia's abilities. Hence why we actually lost the game because of, La of Soren. We activated Soren, put a guy into play, came into play tapped, and then we killed Thalia. And it was just that, nope, never. Um, bottom. So right now, we can either play Clever Impersonator on Thalia which might hinder their mana a bit I don't think it's I also don't think it's that great I think we just play Flooded Grove here uh, Rashad and Port got so cheap when it was reprinted in Masters 25 and Masters 25 was opened infinitely so next turn we can just Scarab God and, and Aether Secure Tri Builder in order to get a land that's pretty sweet That is not a thing I care about. Yeah, I kind of felt like it should have been a mythic because it's a Rashad import, but, you know. Any basic land lets us play, uh, you know, Ice Iceman. Frosty. What is happening? Oh, oh, I'm going to clone that bad boy. I hope you negative five and that's so good for us. Wow. I'm a fan. I bet the Soren comes into play tapped, right? No. I guess it enters as the other thing. All right. So here's the question. Do we just kill Thalia? Or do we kill Soren? I feel like we they have two cards. I feel like we can kill Soren. I'd rather not give them an extra card. And then next turn. So Soren goes to five. Um, the problem is if we don't kill Thalia here, Thalia kills Soren, right? Because we kill Soren, Thalia can deal three to Soren, so this would be four to Soren. Soren will go to two, and we can't actually play anything that blocks Thalia when she's on board. So we're actually going to have to kill Thalia, unfortunately. You just gotta, you just gotta work out those lines. Ew, you're skinny. Hope, hope everything's well with you too, buddy. Oh, that's real sad. Well, that's awkward. I 
Actually, it's not awkward. Can we reanimate Clever Impersonator? <gasps> that seems good, right? Sun does seem good here, but we only have five mana, so... Actually, if we can just draw a sixth mana... What do they hit? Vivid Grow and Sunpetal Grove. All right, good. That's pretty good. Yeah, if we can play this, we're probably just playing this and not worrying. I like I like Scarab God Clever Impersonator to just get back one of their Planeswalkers. It might make Soren a... It would make a Soren, but it would have, like, a... F I don't know, actually. I imagine it's just a... Would Soren be a zombie? That would be interesting. What do you need this mana for? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9? Dear God. Oh my God, what's happening right now? My level of discomfort is very tangible. I see. Why did you have to put the counters on the Devoted Druid, though? I mean, even if they had Ugin, there's no way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They have eight mana. They didn't have to add a counter to this guy. Unless they also... What just happened? Oh, they, they Sorened? Okay, but still, why did you... What just happened? Oh, did they negative three? They negative, they negative two with Chandra. Okay, so they were going to kill that anyway. I gotcha. I understand. Oh, wow. Wow. Wowie kazowie. I think we're dead here. Yeah, I doubt they're holding up Counterspell. Yeah, I feel like we should have got Soren off the board. I mean, I know we, we wanted to keep our own Soren, but... Oh, that's pretty dumb. I guess we can actually keep up Counterspell Block. But they get like... They're dealing six here. They get another card. And then we technically don't have a way to deal with this guy next turn, unfortunately. If we play this guy, we block here. We take three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then if they hit any card that costs four or more, we die. It's not ideal. Twilight Mire. All right, so we've just hit three lands, which is nice. We kind of have to hope they... Well, actually, no, it's Snapcaster, not Frost Titan. They're not a Torrential Gear Hulk, so... We can just snap back Dissolve and... Still keep it in there until the end of the turn. We don't have to use it at that moment, which is nice. I mean, we're, I'm still pretty sure we're dead here. <laughs> Even Hornet Queen, they just negative two Chandra. And we go to four. Gross. Wow, that's sad. Yep, this guy is hard to deal with. I mean, any card that's not a one drop. Like, any land again, and we're, we're okay. <laughs> not okay. We're not okay. I think we're dead. It was a Lotus Cobra. All right. That'll do. Wow. Wow. Now I almost definitely want Vraska. Why not Hornet Queen? Because they can just negative two Chandra and kill our Hornet Queen. And kill every single Hornet Queen token and then attack us with Inferno Titan. Seems good. God, Immortal Sun seems insane. <laughs> I just want to be able to draw it. 
Oh, come on, really? Seriously? They're like, here's your immortal son, idiot. <laughs> Any one island in this hand is great, but we don't have that. Capable. Oh, yeah, you can stay. I mean, this list has cast pretty much anything, so. We just get... Uh, I think I like keeping Shuffle from Sakura's Tribe. We have Oracle of Moldaya and Corsair of Crufix in our deck. Like, we can play Hornet Queen next turn, which is pretty sweet. Yep, that's pretty good. And a green, green... And now we can play Courser and shuffle that away. I can dream about you. I can't. Disclaimer, I'm not very good at Photoshop. <laughs> okay, um, that's MS Paint, not Photoshop, but uh, yeah, very good. Very good, I think. That's really, it's actually perfect. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Here comes Inferno Titan again. I guess we have Clever Impersonator, which is pretty good. We also have a, a free shuffle here. Photoshop is just a verb that means image editing. It's not, but okay. <laughs> when someone says, hey, do you have Photoshop? Like, they mean Photoshop. Trust me, their Photoshop is no joke. MS Paint and Photoshop. If someone says, hey, do you have Photoshop? And you say yes because you have MS Paint? Eh, it's not really... Uh, I don't think you're answering the question correctly. <laughs> oh, good times. What's going on here? Just cast whatever this is. Why is this taking so long? I'm getting anxious. Don't you know I suffer from anxiety? Well, Photoshop is both a noun and a verb, sir. Come on, Bredicus Maximus, get it together. I have no idea what's happening right now. Progenitor Mimic. Did you call me Courser? If we clever impersonator to this, are we clever impersonating a progenitor mimic or whatever they've copied? I don't know because magic is complicated. Oh, wow. Well, now we're holding this guy for sure. It's not exactly what we're looking for, unfortunately. Oh my god, really? Our last draws have been Coalition Relic, Gilded Lotus, Golgari, Signet, Land, Land. Come on. 
Having a good time. JK. Not having that good of a time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We have 12 mana on board right now. We can basically just cast Emrakul. Soren into Chandra. Seems good. Can they cast those, though? Do they have 6 mana? Probably. Unfortunately, the, blue, the problem with the blue-green deck... Is that they don't have... We don't have a way to deal with, like, a, a card like Progenitor Mimic that gets out of hand very easily. Actually, I guess we can soar in it. Outpost Siege. What? Interesting. Well, that'd be great if they didn't have a Chandra on the top. People, let me tell you about on top of my deck. Do -do 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 Does anyone know if I copy this, does it make a copy of the Progenitor Mimic or does it make a copy of the Corsair of Crucifix? I don't know. Magic's a hard game. I'm confused. I'm tempted to just make Outpost Siege. So you have Soren in hand. I know you're going to draw that Shandy. Yeah, my feeling is also the Courser. I'm going to copy out Post Siege. I want to draw two cards a turn. I'm just hoping that the, the second card I draw is not a counter spell. Nissa. What was the other card? Ah, I missed the other card. Oh, the no, what was the second card? Dang it. So Chandra got exiled. Yeah, always yield. I don't care about the stupid coursers. Did anyone see the 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 card that got exiled real quick? People let me It was a throne? That's pretty good. People, let me tell you about my best friend. Da -da -da. I'm just going to put these libraries down here. Not ideal. We don't have any anywhere near enough cards to have that affect us. So, Interesting. Oh, boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. What do we want on the next card? Greater Hoof Behemoth? <laughs> this is what's going to exile, exile with cons next turn. <laughs> oh boy, just incredible.
yeah, I think we can't win this game. Like, they just have too many cards that our deck does not have a way to deal with. Like, Progenitor Mimic and multiple Planeswalkers. And even Outpost Siege. We have three counter spells. We just n never drew any of them in the games that matter. Like, now they just go negative two. Which is really brutal, but... Stomping. Other oh, Chandra. Okay. So on the other hand is Soren Thrun Nissa, and they have a free stomping ground to play. No. Their hand is Soren Thrun Stomping Ground, and they have a free Nissa to play. That's correct. If the card underneath our, our Sylvan our Ancestral Vision is a an immortal sun, that'd be pretty good. Oh, a Rift would be great too. Yeah, we have options. Like, that's the thing. Our deck has some cards, like Immortal Sun or... Yep. To the surprise of no one. So you don't attack with this guy. I imagine you're attacking with both of these guys, though. People, let me tell you about my Nessa. Wow, Nessa for one. Aggressive. Okay, so now we know, did you play the Stomping Ground? No. So your hand is Soren, Thrun, and Stomping Ground. And you had you had a Chandra on top. I guess you scryed it away. And now you played at Stomping Ground. attack with everybody right interesting that is indeed a lot of coursers ancestral vision and an island in my hand well this is working out well we have drawn lands every single time can I, can I cast this no okay cool I think we're dead here. All right, we have two blockers. We block, block. We take one, two, three, four, six. They just, I guess they can't ultimate you yet. But I can't really imagine we're going to win here, so. I guess there is the potential for Cyclonic Rift, but, like, they can just replay everything. And they still have Progenitor Mimic in hand. No, we can't cast it. It has no casting cost. Gideon Jura on top. There is Soren, Infinite Space Menace. Take five, sure. Block, block, we take one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yep, that is how death works. Yep. All right. Let's try again. This definitely feels like a 16 land deck, oddly enough. All right. I answer a phone call and you come back and you're putting a 17 core serve curve fixes. That is correct. That was uh, that was definitely how it went. 
We are not thrilled about it. But uh, such is life, my friend. Such is life. People, let me tell you about my best friend. Uh, keep. Oh my god, that, <laughs> that image is hilarious. <laughs> oh my god. Why? Yeah, Immortal Sun would have been good. The only times we drew Immortal Sun were turns where we didn't have enough mana to cast it, so. In my face, I guess. Oh, a little snake man. Is there any better feeling than suspending an Ancestral Vision on turn one and then knowing in four turns you're going to draw a lot of cards? Probably not. People, let me tell you about my best friend. Little Snake Man is my favorite Mumford and Son song. <laughs> Weep, little snake man. You didn't, didn't, didn't. Mumford and Sons. I hope my video doesn't get demonetized because of that. Oh my god, these 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 icefall regions are amazing, guys. Crystal shard. Okay. Okay. Off of your Sulfur Falls Raging Ravine. Well, Scarab God can't come down next turn. Guys, we're getting so close. Oh, an evoked mole drifter. Okay. Oh, they're going to bounce it, aren't they? That's pretty aggressive. Oh, I like that. Sure. So now we can Frost Titan and keep their Crystal Shard tapped down, which is pretty sweet. Or we can just tap down a land because they can't actually... Oh, yeah, they can. They can target Frost Titan. That's pretty bad. Uh, 
Oh, we get to draw a bunch of cards now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll have nine cards. So we'll just go back up to seven. That's pretty good. I will choose myself. Frosty McTitans. Albarn, tell Italy I said what's up. Yo, what up, Italy? Guys, what should I have for dinner tonight? I don't have a dinner plan. Oh, I just I moved my mouse in a way that made a, an unpleasant sound. I literally just had Hungry Howie's the other day. I'm not going to... I can't have Hungry Howie's again. I'll die. I don't eat pork, so I can't have pork katsu. Eggplant parm sounds pretty okay. But that is... Hmm. Hornet nest. Oh, they just evoked that guy, huh? Okay. What's happening right now? One, two, three. So I kind of like keeping Dissolve up here. I also like copying this guy. <laughs> One, two, three, four. We don't have enough mana to keep up Dissolve, though, which is pretty bad on our part. Oh, it is Tuesday. I could have... Actually, I need to... Tacos is it. Tacos is the answer, especially because I have some sauces that I want to try out. Nailed it. Burder, 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 burder. I'll copy you. I'll tap a you. We can't hold dissolve. We don't have four, four blue. But I like where your head's at. Three mana, they can go ten ten. Dungeon Master's Guide. It's okay. We'll get a. Uh, we'll get. We'll get him next time. Could have also played Cyclonic Rift. Just bounce these, but that doesn't seem great. Oh my god. Pyroclasm. Can I just Cyclonic Rift this? Seems fine, right? I've got Kitty Pride. 
and Nightcrawler too, waiting there for me, yes I do. I guess you have Flame Slash here, you can kill a Titan. But otherwise, I have lethal on board. This is 15 damage, Moan Frayer. You want to attack, get the nest to block, then rift? Y yeah, that seems like a lot of work. I'm just going to try to win the game with two Frost Titans. Two Frost Titans of Industry. Did we get like a Wicker Bow? Did we get any any way to kill uh, artifacts or enchantments, or did we just prioritize differently? I've got. Are you dead? Ace freely. I've got Peter Chris. Waiting there for me, yes I do. I do. In the garage, I feel safe. No one laughs about my ways. What up, Keg211? I've got posters on the wall. You have lost the game. I've got ways to pay for anything you can do. Go to game number two. Yes, I do. Game number two. In the ground, I feel safe. I think we're okay. I don't think we have like meh. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'll keep this hand. Turn two, Devoted Druid. Turn three, Rash me. What? Keg211, 48 bits. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. I'm sorry that the graphic is not where it should be, quality-wise, but... We're just going to get out Forest here. Yeah, Vraska's probably our only answer to artifacts. I don't think it's I don't think it's worth just bringing in for uh, Crystal Shard, but I'm sure I'll be proven wrong. Oh, Voltaic Brawler! Well, that's intriguing. Neros, thank you so much for the bits, man. Appreciate it, buddy. <laughs> Food for Ryan, you doing all right there? I think you've been doing a little too much drinking up. I think you might be drunk up. <laughs> we have a good time. I think the best part of the Immortal Sun is that it lets you put one more counter on Devoted Druid. Oh, that's interesting. I'm intrigued by this. By this, now, now we might bring in Vraska because you clearly have lots of things.
<laughs> oh man. Okay, so okay, so the one Brian sent actually looks real good. So here, this is what this is what Brian sent me. And it's pretty impressive. That is amazing. <laughs> Whoo, that's a good one. That is fantastic. All right. Not going to block this guy. Oh, they're missing. No, I was going to say they're missing blue mana, but they have a vivid grove. My favorite rock. I have a uh, in the garage by Weezer stuck in my head. It's a very good song. It's probably one of my favorite Weezer songs. Especially because they reference Kitty Pride and Nightcrawler too. Waiting there for me. Yes, I do. They could kill this in response, which is real awkward, right? Yeah, I don't like that at all. Oh, they didn't do it. Wow, I was getting real nervous for a second there. My favorite rock group kiss. Do you counter this? This lets us keep Mana Lake up, which is pretty OP. Waiting there for me. Yes, I do. Well, I'm going to take my MS Paint and go on home. <laughs> this is this is an excellent series of events. We get to play one more land. Our Mana Lake costs one less because of this. And it all works out for, for, old, for old Frankie boy. That you can have. That is not a concern of mine. Oh yeah, we could add another green with Druid. You're right. You're right. That's true. Oh, they aimed red. Is blue like their splash? Can you guys remind me to do laundry tonight? I really need to do laundry. Not thrilled about it, but it is what it is, so. I've got... Are you going to... Cast the Gulf Run. All right, you got it. So just bounce this guy. Oh, we get to draw Snappy. It's pretty strong. I don't want to draw that extra forest though. I guess if there's a land on a land under that, it's good. But hey, look at all these lands. If you don't cast the revealed card, put it in your hand. Oh my god, we can just cast it. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I wasn't sure how that was going to work, I'll be honest with you. I am fascinated by what just happened. So this costs, what, six? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we can still keep up Mana Leak. Gotta be a green, huh? That seems good, but what do I know? I feel like we're doing all kinds of things. Frank, if you do your laundry, I'll do mine. All right, we can have just a we can have a big old Discord laundry chat. We can have a laundry reminder service in Discord. I like it.
Laundry's overrated. Just remember not to raise your arms. Okay. Okay. I think we won. I guess they had, could have Pyroclasm, which is pretty good. Eh, it's actually mediocre, I guess. It's medium. All right. Well, they're just dead now. Chandra. I'm going to draw this Rashmi. And game. Woo-wee. That was a lot easier than our first round. So we're 3-2 right now. Not terrible as far as... Uh, Fare il bucato. Is that laundry? I can't tell. You could be lying to me. I actually took four years of Italian in high school. Two years of Italian in high school. I don't remember much of it. But it, it is my it is at the top of my list of languages I would prefer to learn. So, um Frank New Clothes donation train coming up. Alright, well, we could do that, I guess. I guess we could just buy new clothes, sure. This sounds pretty good. I'll keep it. Oh, I feel like they almost forgot to play a land. Dang it. So close. <laughs> oh, I like how this has turned into a language lesson. This is nice. This is good stuff. I'm actually going to crack for a bluesel. Who calls it that? Who calls blue a bluesel? Who does that? Guys, don't forget. Never forget, okay? Never forget. He was always with you. Uh, I do not think... No, Italian... Uh, bl Bluesel is not Italian for blue. I was watching an older stream and you said something about magic trading in sets. What does that mean? Iron Chef Sammy, stop being ridiculous. Blue Cato. Okay, okay. Oh, you have a, you have a Chromatic Lantern. I have a Coalition Relic. Who wins? I do. Well, we are going to go get... So next time we can go Signet into Relic, actually. That's pretty good. So I think we're just getting a blue here. A bluesel, if you will. Or we can just play Rashmi. Ooh. I want to actually play Immortal Sun as soon as I can. So I think it's actually... Signet into Relic. Alrighty then. Tap all the things and play this thing. Alright, land we'll write down lantern so we know that oh, I don't want to hit two. I just wanna just wanna make it make it go. Make it a thing go. Make it a 
Mountain. You're going to play that bad boy. You're going to play that bad, Larry. Love the flavor text on what? Yep. Orchard on top. Okay. That's un that's unimpressive. <laughs> I'm sorry. That man, I felt uh, I am Italian. Um, I don't know. I think my great grandparents might be from Italy. All right. So this, this is a constant nuisance. Uh, Sammy, you used to be able to redeem sets. Like you could collect a full set of say like Ixalan and you could redeem it. They remove it from your magic online collection and then they would mail you that physical set. Same thing with uh, foil sets. You can do the same thing with foil sets. Um, but I don't know if they still do. Now I understand where you took the coolness from. Love it. Love it. I'm a fan. Oh, what tidings. Um, well, I think we're going to have to Cyclonic Rift here. Because otherwise we die. Or we can actually bounce this guy, keep up. Disallow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If we bounce everything, they just replay this guy off of... Actually, they might not have another... We know their hand is Lantern. We might just be able to Cyclonic Rift their whole life. And then rash me disallow. The problem is we want to counter it on the way back down. Um, because otherwise we just die to it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. One, two, three, four, five. The problem is we want to use the blue now because we want to also put a counter on this. Yeah, you've never been able to redeem master sets as far as I know. Like you because the, the prices are so much different, I think. I guess we could play Immortal Sun and then one, one, two, three, four, five, six. We could play Immortal Sun and then just Cyclonic Rift this guy and hope we hit something in the next two cards. But I think we're going to risk it. All right, this is a gamble. Eight. Also, if they have a counter spell, we just die. We just literally die. Chandra on top. I imagine you'll play the orchard. You did. You did. You did as much. All right. So mana has been tapped, which is nice. So they're committed to something. Like main deck ancient grudge. Ooh, that'd be gross. I would vomit. Ancient grudge flashback kill coalition relic. Wow, Overload Cyclonic Rift with instant speed. That seems good. I was thinking of rifting then. I think that would have been correct. I'm trying to get them to attack with this guy, though. So if they don't have a counter spell... If they have a counter, we're dead. If they have a double blue counter, we're going to feel real bad because we let this resolve, but...
Feels good. So we know they have Wolfier in their hand. We have they have Chandra on the top. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. All right, so we can counter a thing. We can play a Rashmi and then counter either one of the five drops they're gonna play. All right, feels good. Oh, she cost three, my God. What a time to be alive. And Disallow gives us a free card. All right. We're doing it. If they have, There's no way they have Counterspell in hand, which is good to know. Because if they had Counterspell, they would have literally just Counterspelled our Rift and killed us. Also, Chandra doesn't do anything. Let's keep that in mind. They might forget that and, and try to play the Chandra. I assume you're going to play Tarn here. Master on top. Good to know. Oh, yeah, sure, they could have Essence Scatter. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh, touche. You always got to be the one-upper, huh? All right. Yeah, that guy cannot... Ooh. Ooh, a little cosy. Rashmi is like four cards, right? Like, we draw a card on their turn if we have an instant. We draw a card on our turn from what we play. And then we draw another card from Mortal Sun. So we're drawing like four cards in between both turns. Which is pretty insane. Alright, Wolfier is gone. You probably want to draw Master, I would imagine. The Jolly Noggle, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Jolly Noggle, welcome to the Sultai Brood. I like a Vizier. I like a Gear Hulk as well. Okay. So one, two, three, four. We'll add a green for now. We can play this guy for two. Draw another card. All right, I'm pretty sure this game is over. So when we play Torrential Gearhawk next turn, we get to put a Gilded Lotus into play for free? Oh, boy. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. We want to keep up two. So we can actually play Tidings and keep Dissolve up, but I'm pretty sure we're just going to keep Gearhawk up. Oh, boy. Been watching your YouTube like crazy. Glad I get to Appreciate it. I'm glad to hear it. Oh my god. Brian updated the image. Here we go. Now we're looking now we're looking good here. <laughs> I can't. I just literally can't even right now. It's just beautiful. It's just amazing. So we're on top. Alright. Is there, is there a time where you just draw too many cards? Is that a concern? Master. I don't think I like that, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You cost five, you cost two. So actually, I think we're in good shape here. I 
One, two, three, four, five. So we'll gear hulk you. Oh, we actually put this. Get, we get to put this into play for free, which is pretty insane. Yeah, this is pretty brutal. Free gilded lotus, like you do. Crying out loud. Resolve that. Counter you. So no master. So we have Chandra in hand and a sower on the top. Oh, I think we've been in Value Town for quite a while now. They have three power on board, so everything we can attack with is, is pretty good. I guess we'll add a blue, a bluesel, as it were. Actually, we don't have to tap all this blue. In fact, I'd recommend against it. Uh, one, two. And we get a free land, I guess? Oh, it's a non-land, so we just draw it. Definitely might already be. And we got Scarab God on top. Oh, give me one of these dudes, please. Play to land, right? Just making sure. Done. Jolly Nolly, if I paid as much for two hours of watching you as you do for going to the movies, I would owe you thousands of dollars. So here's the first installation. <laughs> Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. That is awesome. Yeah, it's I, like I say it regularly. You guys probably, you, you might have even heard it in the YouTube videos, but I love it when people watch the YouTube videos and then they finally make it over to the real stream. Uh, it's such a, it's awesome because you can just watch the effect of like one on the other. City of Brass on top. I don't think that's going to do it. If they have Sower and they have... Well, we have Vizier many faces, so we can just steal something else. We can we can Cyclonic Rift if we have to. Batter Skull on top. Okay. Uh, the where is he? The the he's already dead. Clip is from the Simpsons. If you look up Simpsons, he's already dead. You'll you'll see it. What is this guy gonna do? So you need to have Chandra, Sower, and Batter Skull in hand. If you steal this guy, what's the worst you could do here? I guess it's fine. Oops, wrong channel. <laughs> All right, so this guy costs two more. We take nine here? I think it's actually safe to take nine here, which is very strange. Because don't we just win on the crankback? Seven, 13, 14, 16, 19. Yeah, seems good. No, they take. Oh, no, well, all right. If we countered this, they could just play Sower, which I think is worse. Then they just get to keep it forever. I'd rather just take nine. 
we go to four, but then we actually go to five. So Chandra, Sower, we know two of their three cards. I can't attack with Frost Titan. Or probably Torrential Gear Hulk because it's not going to untapped. <sighs> yep, seems fine. Wow, this is a lot of cards we're drawing, guys. I don't know if you, uh, I don't know if you guys knew that. I don't think we actually added a thing with this. I also forgot about Gilded Lotus, so. You know, that moment when you get too much land. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. phase and so if we cyclonic rift they get to steal something else which is pretty bad one two three four five six seven eight i think i'd rather just play scarab god here it's actually overpaying one and we get to draw counter spell Uh, I don't think so. Wolf or Silver Hall only adds four. So we'd have four, five, six, seven. We they we'd only put them to one. You guys know we can't play Vizier of Many Faces on their turn, right? So we can't actually copy something. We can't copy Gear Hulk and counter something with Vizier of Many Faces. That doesn't work. I mean, we could have viziered the this guy, stolen this guy, um, which is still like six, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. That might have been. That might have been game. So we copy, actually, hold on, we copy Vizier, we copy this, so it's four, five, six, we steal this guy, this guy, so four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen plus seven, twenty-one, what were they at, what did we deal? Well, this only would have added, this would have been, I think this would have been lethal, I think Vizier... Yeah, we misplayed. That's fine. I, I think we're still fine, guys. I don't think it's a big deal. Cobra. Really, really not terribly concerned with our uh, with our misplay there. So one, two, three, four for Scarab God. One, two, three, four for Scarab God activation. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we would have had enough. And then it would have been three for Vizier, so. You guys you guys think we could win? I don't know. And we get a free Snapcaster right now, just to be clear. <laughs> I think we're fine. We have about four counter spells here. <laughs> dissolve, mana leak, snapcaster, dissolve. Nope, just draw. Clever impersonator on top. I think we're just fine. Our deck is sweet. Yeah, all right. They've seen enough. Oh, God. I would kill for a reclamation sage, dude. Ugh. Whew. Jester Poo, thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate it. Um, 
they have they have lantern they have batter skull they have courser of crew fix um I don't know, Dad. Do we board anything in? I don't think Vraska is really worth it. Mortal Sun is so good. Making your spells all cheap. Actually, this seems like a great sower deck. There is that does anyway. Like, we can just steal something and they probably don't have a way to deal with it. Remember the time we first picked Crater Hoof Behemoth and we haven't actually played him yet? This is not really a Crater Hoof deck, comically enough. Did you just go 41 with 16 lands? Ooh. Ooh, yes, all right. I mean, I'm game. How, what an aggressive maniac Frank is. God, he's crazy, right? What a lunatic. Hands good. Oh, I was going to go get the swamp. Dang it. Island will do. Splash for Grudge. It's a little greedy, but on the same hand, like we do have um, Coalition Relic and Terramorphic and Sakura and Gilded Lotus. So I like that. So that is a turn three course, turn two course, turn three courser with a land post courser. I'm pretty sure we just get island here. I didn't see any counter spells in game one, so let's see if that holds true. Feels good. That's rude. That is not a polite thing to do. Got real quiet in here, didn't it? Just play any of the two lands. It doesn't matter which one. Yeah, it doesn't actually matter which one, I don't think. Oh, we know they're drawing a forest. All right. Like, we're probably just going to bounce this guy and keep up Counterspell. Um, reason being... Or we can actually copy you. But I like keeping up one of our two counter spells. Okay. Wanted to make sure we didn't hit a land on top. So. I'm actually uncomfortable with how far Brian is going with this meme. This is the next iteration. <laughs> I can't even handle it, man. Oh my god. How is this real? <laughs> Woo, that's just fantastic. 
boy. Are they not playing anything? What's going on here? Oh my god. Did they just not replay the guy? I think they know we have a thing. Oh my god, this this land advantage. Land vantage is good. Do we even play this? We can just keep up the things. That might be the thumbnail for this video, actually. That seems good. God, it's just... I love the evolution. It's so good. Um, yeah, I don't think they're going to count two spells. I think we'll be okay. I'll get in there. I don't know if you have any flash bros. We know you have forest and sower in hand, and I assume you don't actually have the forest anymore, but what do I know? Oh boy, what is this? Oh god. I assume you have Pact of Negation. Oh my god, we get to kill you! Guys, we get to do it. Oh my god. This is what I've always wanted in Magic the Gathering. Oh. <laughs> Keep it tapped. Tap him down. Oh my god, it's all I've ever wanted. To deny my opponent the ability to pay for their pact on Magic Online. Alright. Your move. <laughs> I'm gonna give you the old the old D face. Wow, that was pretty good. Woo. How bad do you want your immortal son? I'm laughing alone. Oh. Oh, you're definitely not laughing alone, good sir. Uh, trigger on the stack? Good times, good times. Woo, boy. Turned out all right. I'm a big fan of that deck. I'm also a fan of um, the, the Mike Fall Regent or the Ice Chew Regent, whichever one you want to go with, uh, freezing me and Hunter in front of the Hungry Howies. So good times all around. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I'll see you next time.